A former head priest of the Sikh religion is at the center of a growing controversy here in the GTA tonight. Darshan Singh's appearance at a Brampton temple sparked violence earlier this month and ended in the stabbing of a prominent lawyer. Michelle Chung met with Singh and has this story. They have come to listen and to learn from this man, Darshan Singh. The former chief priest of all Sikhs has been a vocal critic of one of the scriptures. He was excommunicated by the Sikh clergy four months ago because of his views, but he continues to preach to anyone who will listen. The high clergy has failed in telling Sikhs that one of these texts are not following the faith, he says, and I have an obligation to go straight to the people to provide that knowledge. Singh says the controversial text advocates drug use, animal sacrifice and denigrates women, all taboo for Sikhs. But Singh's views, although supported by some Sikh scholars, has led to violence. Ten days ago, a man was stabbed with a kirpan, a ceremonial dagger, outside this temple where Singh was invited to speak. He's also been threatened. His family and friends won't let him go out on his own. But Singh is determined to share his views. I believe in the truth, he says. I'm not afraid of these threats. There are people in the community who want to listen to me, and I'm obliged to meet with them. Some community leaders have declined to do interviews with us. They say the Sikh clergy in India have told them not to discuss the issue publicly. Singh supporters say he's asking Sikhs to judge for themselves. If you don't like somebody, then don't listen to them, but let other people listen to that, you know. It's, it's, it's not, uh, it's totally outrageous that somebody tries to stop the freedom of speech. I feel myself very lucky that I'm here in Toronto where I can listen to his discourses and I can understand in depth the Gubani. Singh is in demand, on the road almost every weekend to give talks to Sikhs across the globe, creating a bigger divide between himself and religious leaders. Michelle Chung, CBC News, Brampton. The trial of the last three men in the so-called Toronto...